What's happening? Ezio seems to be remembering something. Something from 1506. Desmond's heart rate is increasing. I'm administering a sedative. No. The missing data may be there. The piece of Eden is useless until we have it. Let him continue. Yes, William. Salahi, is that you? It's you. I must be getting lazy in my old age. I did not know you had returned to Roma. Unfortunately, I cannot stay. I'm here to charter a ship. Let me assist you. I know a captain. He's very discreet. Hang on, I have the name recorded somewhere. What are you working on? Oh, this? A hobby of mine. Of course you are familiar with Pythagoras. Remind me. The brilliant scholar from Grecia who discovered many secrets about the heavenly spheres and their cosmos. These symbols come from him? Ever since my exploration of that strange apple, they have been stamped on my mind. I found symbols like them in the writings of the Pythagorean disciples. I am afraid the captain's name escapes me. The apple has been put to rest. Perhaps it would do you good to focus on painting. You seem to be doing decent work on this one. <laughs> you are kind. However, even I can see that she is badly drawn. And that smile, overdone, meaningless. But forget painting. I made a breakthrough in my research several days ago. A huge discovery. Salai, can you bring them? Oh, he's not back. I intended to accompany you to the docks, but we cannot leave my workshop without my assistant. Bene, an easy task. I am afraid you underestimate Salai. Hmm. Wait and see. Suit yourself. You will likely find him at La Volpe Addormentata. Di nuovo! I told you those dice were lucky. Fortuna wishes she were as good as me. Gian Giacomo. I do not answer to that name. Salai. Better, but not good enough. Yes! Di nuovo! Leonardo, your master requests your presence. Let him wait. No. Nice hood. Are you one of Julius's monks? My church is not of God. Outside the kingdom of God is the realm of men. You worship there, Messiah? Come with me and find out. It has been fun, but I must go. Please, do not depart. The game is not finished. Sorry, but a better offer has arisen. Lead on, Messere. The three men from the dice game follow us. Stay quiet. Why? Sentite! I am done playing! So are we! There is only one man in Roma who can put on a show like that. You must be Ezio Auditore. Come. We need to return to Leonardo right away. You do not talk much, do you? Fine. I will run ahead. You catch up. They took him. No, he must be here. The temple he discovered. Where is it? Leonardo. Salai, you want to save him? Tell me where the temple is. I do not know. Cazzo. Ezio, something is written on the floor. What does it say? I cannot read. Leonardo promised to teach me, but now... Villa. Paintings. He wants us to examine art? I remember when Leonardo lived at your villa, he was researching the location of the catacombs. Several of his paintings hung in the gallery there. What do they have to do with the temple? Perhaps the pages of his research are hidden in one of the frames. The paintings are gone. They all burned in the attack. No, they did not. Only Leda and St. John, the Borgia, took the rest. Six paintings. Five. 
I told the art merchant that portrait of a lady was by Leonardo. I needed the money for a doublet. Of course, now it has gone out of fashion. Who has the paintings now? Lucrezia Borgia, in her husband's palazzo outside Ferrara. Then it is time I took back what was stolen. Did you have an enjoyable ride, Duquesa? Hardly. I raced across the grounds at breakneck speed for fear of a knife in my back. I do not understand, Duquesa. Who is trying to kill you? My father kept them at bay. Kept me safe. Now they chase after me. They want my head. But, Signora... The countryside was supposed to be serene. Death follows me even here. Increase the patrols and warn me of any intruders. No one is allowed in the palazzo but my husband's private guard. You heard the Duquesa. Sound the alarm if an intruder is spotted. Poor Alfonso. His wife has gone mad. Come to kill me at last, assassino. Buongiorno, Lucrezia. Or should I say, Duquesa. A borrowed title bestowed by my husband. Ill-fitting and barely concealing the truth. You can keep your life. I am here for the art on your walls. Redecorating, are we? I count five Leonardo da Vinci paintings you have stolen, and I want them returned. <laughs> if only it were that easy. My birthplace, my family, have been taken from me. You think Ferrara loves me? I am a stranger, a castaway, an orphan. Your paintings are gone, assassino. I do not believe you. Frightening, is it not? To have lost so much? Perhaps... we can comfort each other. Perhaps. Where are the paintings? Sold to Francesco Colonna. And one to someone who was special to me. Patrizio. He spends his time near Il Vaticano. I kept one for myself. Give it to me. Guards! Place Da Vinci's Annunciation in a cart. Leave it outside the walls. Modo bene. Now, close your eyes. My husband will soon arrive with his guards. So it is best if you... hurry. Forgive me, Duquesa. What for? No man can heal your pain. You must do so on your own. Say hello to the Duca for me. Guards! Guards! You are here for the painting? Yes, Patrizio. You will complete the sale? Of course. That woman used false passion to seduce me. The error lies in her Spanish blood. I know it. Such untruths you so casually utter based on little more than a name. These countries, these groups, make such easy targets for the lazy and ignorant. You should tell her that, the high and mighty Duquesa. Putana! I have changed my mind. That painting does not deserve to belong to anyone! I take the painting and examine it for clues. Be careful. Human hands aided by a fierce intelligence made that. Treat it with respect. Go. Buongiorno. Is this the home of Francesco Colonna? It was. But now the banks own everything. We have lost it all. Even the Da Vinci paintings? A lesser part of Signore's collection. I have an interest in them nonetheless. The three paintings were put up for auction and purchased by a merchant of Firenze. He prepares to set sail from the harbor immediately. Grazie mille.
Ezio Auditore. Come back down to the harbor when I return to Roma. I will show you the inside of my ship. Living in this third-rate city instead of beautiful Firenze? How low you have sunk. Duccio, we are not children anymore. Look around. I have help this time, and you are all alone. I am warning you. Well, we are only talking, are we not? I see this place has worked its magic on your sister. She did not want to open her legs in Firenze, but now she is the Madame of Rome. <laughs> Cazzo! Why are you just standing there? Eat him! You are going to shut your mouth and give me what I want. The three Da Vinci paintings. One is on the boat. The other two were sold to a cardinal. He is displaying them for high-ranking members of the church. How do I get in? Uh, how should I know? Go ask your whore of a sister. I am sure she has slept with a couple of cardinals. Ah! Buongiorno. Have you ladies heard of an art viewing somewhere in the city? You have returned to Roma. With just enough time to visit you. Ezio, do not lie to me. I need to get inside the private showing of Da Vinci paintings. There is a viewing at the Castel Sant'Angelo later today. You will need an invitation. Fortunately, I know where you can procure one. It will give you access to the lower floors. Only cardinals are allowed higher. I knew I could count on you. Si, si. Some of my girls will accompany you. Buona fortuna, and don't get caught. Come with me. Once we get inside, I will mark the paintings for you to steal. Bring them to Leonardo's workshop. Capito? Mm -hmm. Invitation? Here. Oh, my. Come back soon. I hope. The upper floors are now open to the cardinals who wish to see additional expressions of devotion. You found anything? Nothing is there. No pages, nothing. That cannot be. Something must be special about them. Think. I'm done thinking. These paintings are a blank slate. Salai, doesn't Leonardo conceal his research? He frequently writes backwards. Ezio, he also experimented with inks, including an ink that vanishes. But we can't see invisible ink. Can we? Ezio, use your gift! You know about that too? Here, the entrance to the catacombs. Go. Bring him back to me. Hang on, old friend. I am coming. Oh, naive of you. You have thought you sought knowledge as I did. Why seek knowledge without putting it to use? We have the chance to fashion a better world. One in which we have the freedom to shape our own destiny. And what if I choose not to be a part of your vision? That is foolish. Do you not see? We can banish ignorance. Free people from their social classes and kingdoms. From their animal emotions, everyone will have the truth at their grasp. Beating me down here in the dark enlightens the people of Italia. The Pythagorean unifier is in the temple. 
We both know it. That number is coupled to all nature, all things. It is the source. With it, we can open the minds and souls of men. We can fill them with knowledge. As above, so below. That is the hermetic vow. Together we will make mankind into gods. Now show me the answer. Stop! Ezio Auditore! You who arrested Cesare Borgia, who stopped the spread of Roman ignorance, convince our friend Leonardo to open the temple and usher in the golden age of mankind. Shall I persuade our friend by kicking him? Or would you rather I use my knife? On the contrary, there is nothing I would like more than an amiable solution. Help Leonardo see reason. With the Pythagorean Unifar, we will remake humanity together. Not under my creed. Then the revolution will begin without you. Ucciderlo! Go! Stop him! We are all the same underneath, yet these people persist in their witch hunts. You intend to banish us back to our primitive origins! Firenze against Venezia! Venezia against Roma! Ignorant group against ignorant group forever! Is that what you want? You... an assassin? The enemy of knowledge? One must choose to search for truth. Forcing it on others accomplishes little. These lost people... ...warring kingdoms... ...I would have ended their suffering. Che tu possa conoscere la verità nella morte. Reguiescat in pace. Come, let us leave this place. We cannot, Ezio. Not without reaching the final room of the temple. You are hurt. I will be fine. If that number is left intact, we risk another madman discovering it. <laughs> The Pythagoreans believed that the soul moved through cracks in the earth, like a beam of light. It ignites fire, which symbolizes knowledge. Knowledge. Correct. Harmony was achieved for the Pythagoreans when multiplicity became unity, when many thoughts combined to form one original idea. Leonardo, come here. Recognize these symbols? No. Wait. These are the symbols that were shown to me by the Apple of Eden. They are in the wrong order. Let me just... If I rearrange these... Done! No 
this architecture. Those are not Pythagorean symbols. 43, 39, 19, N, 75, 27, 42, double. Nothing. The cult of Hermes is wrong. The number is meaningless. You are leaving? No mere number can repair the world. Come, my friend. Help me charter a ship to Nevada. Must finish with Cesare Borgia. It is not intended for us. Ezio, what are you not telling me? What else are you working on? Well, I have begun several dissection studies. Then King Louis XII seems interested in hiring me as an engineer. Oh, yes, I'm thinking of repainting the St. John lost in the Villa Fire. Salai would model for it again, of course. Then, perhaps I will study a woman with child to see how her body changes. Interesting. Tell me more. You can sedate Desmond now. We have the information we needed. It's too late. The damage is done. He seems to have entered some kind of coma. He'll find his way out. He always has in the past. 